Now, here's your host, William Malcolm. Hello and good morning, Detroit. No, it is not William Malcolm. It is I, Stephanie Coney, the co-host filling in today. Uh, today, I am. I want to get into it because our time goes by so fast, but I am so excited with my two guests that we have in the studio today. We have Mr. and Mrs. Brown, the owner of Jaybird's Rotisserie and Grill. Thank you both for being here today. Good morning and welcome. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Yes, so we're going to get right into it. Let's talk about Jaybird's Rotisserie and Grill. Let's talk about where you're located. So right from the beginning, our listeners can know where to find you to get some of that delicious food. We're located at 24480 West 10 Mile. That's in Southfield. That's 10 miles just west of Telegraph. Um, Right next to uh, a couple other uh, restaurants. So we're in the plaza, the Tentail Plaza. All right, in Southfield, Michigan. It's uh, 10 Mile and Telegraph. Telegraph. Okay. It's on 10 Mile, just west of Telegraph. Awesome, awesome. So listen, can you tell us about the menu? Um, our listeners here know from me filling in every now and again that um, I love to eat, so <laughs> I, I do. So I, I want them to hear it from you, you all. Um, what's on the menu? And uh, let's talk about, you know, with everyone um, being healthy and, and making healthier um, food choices and, and, and life decisions. Let's talk about the menu. So we have rotisserie chicken, which everybody knows, you know, spends on the rotisserie for an hour and a half, two hours. So it's nice and juicy and succulent. Mm. We have um, turkey chops that we grill. Um, we have salmon. Mm. We have, um, you know, a variety of things. We have salads, you know, Jaybird's chicken salad. Um you know, just a whole variety of menu. Well, we do have wings. We do have um, catfish. We, you know, we do beef short ribs and things of that nature periodically. Um, but, yeah, the, the main thing is the healthier choices. Like the, the turkey chops is one of my top sellers. Rotisserie chicken mm-hmm. is, is seasoned, you mm-hmm. know, to perfection. It is. I, I had some last night, Detroit. It was <laughs> <laughs> very juicy. <laughs> But um, I've never had the turkey chops. So when I come, you know, I try yeah. to try a little something. Every I mean, time. you can get them fried, but most people get them grilled. You know, we season them, throw them on the grill. Mm-hmm. Everything is cooked to order. You know, uh, pretty much except for the rotisseries because we have to cook those a little ahead of time. But everything okay. you come in, um, we cook it to order, so everything's fresh. Now, what gave you the concept and the idea, Jay, for Jay Birds? <laughs> well. Um, I'm a military veteran. I cooked in the military. so And let me give you a very special congratulations and shout out uh, for that. You. Yep. So um, I've been in the restaurant business over 30 years. I you know, had a mm. catering company, and it was called Jaybird's Catering. So when I opened, when I did the concept, actually my concept was going to be more similar to a fast casual, like another rotisserie place. But... I end up getting a sit-down restaurant. So, um, so Amen. for those who's listening, you can come sit down and eat and dine in. You know, it's you know, and have it's a great atmosphere. So that was the whole concept, and I just ran with it. It is a great atmosphere, um, but also with social distancing and everything going on, and and our our uh, new curfew with regards to restaurants being open, mm-hmm. can you talk to our listeners about that? So you know, just so that they can yes. feel safe about sitting about dining in. So my restaurant, I can see the hundred. So at at right now at twenty five percent capacity, I have plenty of space. So you'll be spaced out. You know, you come in with your mask on. Once you sit down and eat, you can take it off and dine with your family. Um, so there's plenty of room. To, to space you out, so there's no okay. issue with that. It's not like you're, you're going to be crowded and be sitting next to a lot of people. Um, yeah, so we're following all the the, the COVID nineteen guidelines. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, we're safe, sanitized. We were doing that before COVID, but since COVID happened, we've really been extra on that. Yes, um, and let's let's talk about that with. Excuse me, with uh, regards to COVID, when did the restaurant actually open, Jay? We actually opened May of 19. Wow. Um, so right before. Right before COVID, pretty much. So we were on the upswing, mm-hmm. COVID hit, and it kind of like shook the world. Oh, my goodness. So we shut down for a couple months, and then um, 
one day I told the wife, I said, listen, we ca- <laughs> I can't sit in the house forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. We had to get back open. So basically it was just we were just doing carry out. It was just me and her. So I'm a chef. I was in the kitchen cooking. She was, you know, on the phones. You know, uh, we do have the online order. And so if you want to, you know, check out our menu, you can go to www.jbirdsgrill.com. Give that out one more time a little slower, Jay. www.jbirdsgrill.com. That's J A Y B I R D S G R I L L dot com. Tim Allen Telegraph, everyone. Now let's go over here to Mrs. Brown. Because this is an awesome uh, dynamic team, everyone. Um, she's very quiet, but trust me, um, she puts in a lot of work. I, I see it for myself. Tell us, what was it like? Like he just said that you guys were shut down um, during COVID. And a lot of people were not fortunate enough to be like you guys and, and open and open back up. So those few months that you guys were shut down, what was life like for you all? It was different, but I must say we took that as an opportunity to kind of regroup and Mm re-strategize from the, you know, from the, since we had opened. And so we had a lot of lessons learned and it gave us the opportunity to reevaluate how we wanted to do things, how things need to be done in the direction in which we wanted to take the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we really, you know, we took that as an opportunity. And like Jay said, he woke up one day and was like, well... We're going to have to get back in here. And I was like, okay, if you say so. so. By any means necessary. And obviously your patrons were waiting and, and wanting that exactly. to happen. That is awesome when you have mm-hmm. food that's so delicious that people are like, you know what, I just, I want to go back to eat. Exactly. And we did. When we opened back up, we had a lot of our uh, patrons come back and they were like, oh my God, I'm so glad that you were oh. able to open back up. and. It, they were really excited, and we were really excited to see them again as well. Shout out to all the people that come support us daily. Amen. Because we do, we have a lot of daily, weekly, you know, we have a lot of support. So, and we appreciate that. Because no. you need that. We call them our day ones. Oh, yeah, our day I love ones. it. Yeah. I'm a day one. Yay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, can people um, reserve? Um, an area in the restaurant because it, it you guys have listen um, Detroit the, the, it's nice size in there like he said he can seat a hundred people um, so much so that you could a person could get a section to themselves if they wanted you know mm-hmm. the girls night out or somebody's birthday they want, after church we, you yeah, want to go do out it all the eat. time yep okay. so you can call and say you know um, so we have a party of such and such you know yeah we can accommodate all that. You know, okay. you can reserve it. Um, How much we, in advance do, notice do you need? Uh, actually, the same day. Okay. You know, day before. It depends on the size. You know, with the COVID, you know, I know the restrictions and stuff like that. They kind of limit everything. But, um, you know, we do rent the place out, too. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so we, we can accommodate anything pretty much. Yeah, we do okay. private. We rent it out for private events, and we do catering as well. So the catering business haven't gone away. We still do that. So, you know, when you have these special events, and, you know, everybody is entertaining differently now. So even if you want to have a pickup uh, uh, catering, you can do that. And awesome. our catering menu is not is very different than the um the restaurant menu, but we we can cater anything. So, okay. and how I, so is it different the catering menu versus the restaurant? Because I can pretty much cook anything you need. <laughs> so the restaurant has a set menu, but say for instance something not on my menu and you want this, I can make it because I'm a chef. So I, you know it, it's not a problem. Okay, yeah. I like how you just brag on yourself because <laughs> I'm a chef. So look, <laughs> I, I do want to do this. I do want to give a special shout out to the city of Southfield because during the pandemic, you know, we did they did order food from us and we okay. was taking you know election time or just the city council so i appreciate them for real yes um, and all the first responders you know we try to look out for everybody that is awesome mm-hmm. uh, and, and you guys the story is so i, I love it. it it's positive it's even even right now uh, talking to to you Kearney, the, the uh, you're positive you're upbeat you're like we just took that time to restructure and reform and rebrand um, instead of just saying, you know what, I'm mad at the governor. You know, not, you know, here's been my thing. You took it in stride. Here's my thing with the governor. As a citizen, I can appreciate her willingness and wanting to keep 
the state safe. I mm-hmm. truly do. But then on the other hand, as a business owner, just as a business owner being shut down yeah. and, and being a very new business, mm-hmm. it, it was challenging. But again, I, I can appreciate her. She's in a very tough spot. And, you know, you can't make everybody happy, but, you know, it is what it is. And we have to, you know, move on and exactly get through it. And wake up with a plan. Like you said, you said exactly. your husband woke up and said, <laughs> we got to do something. <laughs> and you did. Back to work. <laughs> and yeah. you did. You know, I can't, I can't sit on the couch and watch TV and, you know, be on the internet all day. Mm-hmm. Right. So, and, and luckily, here's the thing. It's, COVID was rough. Um, yeah. Luckily, I am a chef. I went and started cooking myself. And because the issue is they're paying people, so it's hard to get employees. It's yes. still hard. So I, anybody that's open right now, I commend them because it's it's kind of rough. So um, And you two are doing it, yeah. making it happen. Yeah. And just finding good staff. Oh, and we are hiring. I was just about to say, are you hiring? We are hiring. <laughs> we are hiring. How can they yeah. contact you for I, a I, job? I, I need some servers. I need some cooks, you know. So, yeah. Um, you can go to uh, jburstgrill.com, and there's a, a section on there. You can hit um, contact us, and there's an employment form. Um, that's pretty much it. Or you can call the restaurant, or you can come in and bring a resume. Okay. Uh, yeah. Bring that, a resume. You know, yeah. Show up, people. Show up. Give your hours of operation. Uh, and be serious because, you know, we'll call and do some phone interviews, and you won't show up to the in-person interview. Mm-hmm. Don't waste my time, you know, So because it's, it's valuable. Right, because you you, you are, guys are a two-person operation for right now. Right, pretty much. Pretty so much. We do have some staff, but, um, yeah. But, I mean, as we, far as consistency. And, exactly. Yeah, yeah, putting in that time. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but check the Google reviews. The food is delicious. It is. I'm just not saying that. Um, everybody comes in and have a good time, and they and, and we build relationships. So it's, it's almost like uh, people come in. And next thing you know, you know, they know us personally. It's like, hey, hey, Jay, you yeah. know. It's like you're part of the neighborhood. Exactly. So mm-hmm. it, I mean, how many restaurants can you go and say, oh, I know the owner? Right. There's not a lot. And you said have a good time. So have a good time. when we talk about having a good time, are we are we drinking Kool-Aid beverages at Jay Birds and Rotisserie? No, we have cocktails. Oh, good. You know, but I, I really try to focus on the food because that's where everybody, you know, everybody doesn't drink, um, but everybody eats. Okay. So... I focus on the food. That's my main goal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're a full service restaurant, and mm-hmm. we're open Wednesday through Sunday from three to eight. Um, again, this is one of those our, where we changed our business hours when we reopened back up because we used to be open Tuesday through Sunday, mm-hmm. and we used to be open from eleven to nine. So we had to reduce our hours, and actually, is it's worked out pretty well for us so mm-hmm. far. So okay. just being open for dinner. You know, and again, like you said, just being a two-person operation, it it becomes challenging, and you know, just trying to, you know, get the day prepped up, yeah, and you know, all the paperwork that's necessary that goes behind the scenes and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So it, yeah. And I'm only a half a person because I I have a full time job. <laughs> That's why I double commend you. You know what I mean? Oh my God, I love it. Let me tell. Let me ask you. Um, we're when we come back, we're going to take a quick break. But when we come back, I want to delve into what inspired you to even create J Bird's um, rotisserie to even you know have the actual building. We'll talk about that and how you guys encourage one another as soon as we get back. Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is under new ownership, new management. The new Northland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram remains a family-owned business and is considered to be the gold standard of auto dealerships. We are 100% committed to customer satisfaction and will do whatever we can to earn and retain your business. We are in the center of the Metro Detroit area, conveniently located on 8 Mile Road in Oak Park. Northland is the first and last place you will need to shop for a new or used car by Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram. Visit NorthlandChryslerJeepDodge.com or call 248-398-8200 to learn more. Does your health insurance carrier coordinate with your auto insurance carrier? Hi. 
I'm Stephanie Coney, insurance broker for London Consulting and Insurance Firm. Our independent office specializes in both personal and commercial lines insurance. If you're looking for great customer service, then contact me, Stephanie Coney, at the London Consulting Firm today by calling 1-800-651-9142 or visit www.londonconsultingfirm.com. When you're looking for a trusted, professional, and creative team using state-of-the-art technology to capture your precious life moments and events, choose the second-to-none company for videography and live multimedia services. One Vision Media Group. Call us today at 1-800-764-3110 or visit our website at onevisionmediagroup.com. That's the number one, visionmediagroup.com. One Vision Media Group. Our focus is on you. All right. Thank you for tuning in today, Detroit. It is I, Stephanie Coney, here for the William Malcolm Show, co-hosting today with my wonderful guest, Mr. and Mrs. Jay Brown, the owners of Jay Bird's Rotisserie and Grill. Thank you guys again for being here. Thank you. So where we left off before, where we left off was I wanted to go more into um, what inspired you all. But before I even do that, can you please... Mrs. Brown, tell everyone your name so they can look out for you when they're coming with that resume. Uh, Kurnia. Kurnia Brown. All right. So everyone, again, um, I'm, I left off with asking them what inspired them. And the, the reason why I'm asking that question is because... I have known this family for a long time. I, I met Jay first. This was when uh, the real estate industry was popping. And, of course, <laughs> I met him at a networking event trying to um, sell insurance. Cause that's what I do. <laughs> and um, and we, we formed a good networking relationship. And, and we really have become like family. I'm telling you, like, I call her sis. This is like my brother from another mother. <laughs> Um, he did my mortgage for my very first, um, rental property that I ever purchased. Um, like Jay, you know, we, we go back. And with that being said, you know, we were both doing our thing back then, oh five, oh six, oh seven. Um, I mean, the real estate game was good. The mortgage game for you right. was good at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, what made you step out on faith and, and now you're in the restaurant business? So, um, yeah, I used to do mortgages. I'm still a licensed realtor. So anybody okay. I, so anybody need to buy a property, <laughs> come to the <laughs> Throw restaurant. That in get, there. <laughs> come to the restaurant, get some food, and we can talk about it. Uh <laughs> so but I've I've been a chef by trade all my life. So I stepped out of the, the restaurant game to get into real estate. Mm -hmm. so my dad's a real estate broker, so it was like, okay, let me try this this game here. When the market crashed, I had to go back to what I knew. Right. Back to the restaurant game. Right. So I'm an entrepreneur by heart. So my thing is I, I need to own what I do. Okay. So my thing was I always wanted to own my own restaurant. I'm going to steal so, that, own what you do. Go yeah. ahead. Mm -hmm. So I put my business plan together back in 2014. I know opened my restaurant to 19. Wow. So it took me a while. Okay. Um, But I did it. Mm -hmm. You did. You're doing it. I'm doing it. So, um, and I'm going to keep doing it. Amen. You know, so, um, like I said, you know, through the grace of God, you know, COVID didn't stop us. We're still open. Amen. Thank you. So, and I thank everybody who comes support us still. I mean, it's rough. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, we, we're, we're still trying to make it. So, hopefully, um, you know, people come check us out and, we, you know, we can keep it going. And then hopefully, you know, this COVID stuff blows over and everybody yes. gets back to full circle. Yeah. So, we can all can support each other. Absolutely. Now, what advice um, do you have for someone? Because you, you said that you started this business plan. You created the business plan in 2014, but mm -hmm. did not execute it until 19. Mm -hmm. So d during that time, I'm assuming you were prepping, planning, saving. You you knew what what advice would you give someone? Uh, yeah. Um, basically, um, first of all, you, gotta, you have to have a plan. And then you have to execute it finances you have to get your finances in order um talk about that 
basically because you you don't just have your finances coming in from your um your your job you know at that time during, during the waiting period you were you know rental properties and this and that so right. talk about that finance how people could get it because people that when you hear the finance they probably thinking okay i just need to go to work and get a couple hours of overtime in you no, know what you need to do yeah. is <laughs> put a plan together get your credit scores right mm-hmm uh, and find financing. What I mean, you, you might have to go get a loan, or like I had a couple of properties. I sold a couple of my properties to get my restaurant open. Okay. You know, so I, you got to have some of your own money because mm-hmm. the bank's not going to give you 100% of anything. And here's another thing I'm going to tell people mm-hmm. I can go to the bank and say, I need 300000 They're not going to give you three. They're going to give you half that. So they almost set you up to fail. Yeah. So, and then this is real talk. So everybody who's listening to this, so you almost got to ask for more than what you really need. Mm-hmm. So, um, and then. You know, sometimes we as, you know, certain communities, we don't get, you know, we don't get the look that we should get. Um, my business plan could be excellent and they still want to kind of like shut you down. Mm-hmm. So it's rough, but um, you got to stick with it. You just got to be persistent and, you, you know, and stick with it. What made you stick with it? Is it Kernia? Is it your faith? It, it, it's something I had to do. I mean, it's just I was determined. I was determined. So it was like... um you know, let's make it work. Okay. Yeah, you know, and like Jay said, you know, being a minority business, uh, you know, we have uh, different challenges mm-hmm. than others. And so, you know, there is a lot more work involved and, in, you know, just trying to get the financing. And like you said, we had to bring our own money to the table. So, again, those years of prepping and doing real estate, you know, allowed him the opportunity to you know, to gain rental property that we were able to use Mm -hmm. as assets and things like that. And, you know, and trying to obtain the financing, I mean, they go through your entire life. Like they want to know every single thing about you and you got to have all of your ducks in a row. And, and it's a challenge, like, you know, just getting your business license, your LLCs, your tax ID numbers, just all of these is so much involved. It's not, you just wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to open up a restaurant today. No, it, it's, right. it's, I'm going to put some rotisseries on the grill. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to throw some ribs on the uh, smoker outside. So, you know, I went to the score counselors. I did it. I showed them my plans, you know, so they talked to you. So they these are guys that's retired, you know, restaurant owners, stuff like that. And so you, you got to talk to people because, mm. you know, your restaurant could be on the wrong side of the street. You won't get no traffic. So I've talked to the square council. He was like, a, you know, he had a restaurant in, in California. The sun set on this side of the restaurant. People didn't want to come to this restaurant. They went to the one across the street because it didn't flow of traffic. Oh. It's things like that. So like a lot of places you see open and close. Yeah. Because people probably can't get to them. If they're and- driving in the traffic, Yeah. So and that's part of that planning you did from 2014 to 19, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, you got to do your quick, demographics. Yeah. Tell people because uh, um, that's great. Score. How mm-hmm. did you get with score? We got two minutes. How did you get with score? And how could some? What advice would you give somebody? We got basically, I called them, um, and you know, basically, that, that, you need to do that score because there are like whatever profession you in, you have retired people or people that made money or actually did this. They're going to give you advice. Mm-hmm. They're going to look over your business plan and tell you that's good or it's not good. So when they told me my stuff was good, it's a go, let's go. Was that a fee to have that with the score, have that relationship with the score? Uh, no, it wasn't a fee. And you're yep. obviously not a Detroit resident uh, or business, so it's available to Michiganders. Yes, ma- yeah, it's available to everyone. Yeah. Okay. The score is available to everyone. Yeah. All right. Last question. What keeps you guys encouraged and, 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 and with, with uh, living together and, and working together and getting money together? <laughs> How you doing? Take us out with that. I let the wife do that. No, we've been together for a long time. So we've been married for 14 years, 15 years. Yes. Be together a couple years before that. Yeah. So you know where else she going? No, I'll just play. <laughs> Next, <laughs> okay. There he Thank you, Jay. Back to you, Kernia. <laughs> what keeps you nah. putting oh, out a lot with of this patience, guy? obviously, right? Because <laughs> I, I this ego here sometimes. No, nah. because I'm a chef. But no, you know what? <laughs> no, nah, but we have good chemistry though. You guys do. I yeah. love it. You guys seem like best friends. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm telling. You, I don't know if you guys faking it till you're making oh, it, nah. but every time I'm around uh-huh. you guys, it's pleasant. I remember back in the day, I think this was probably before you guys even got married. I remember we hooked up one time for drinks out in Southfield um, at that other place. They had good food, too, and they didn't last long either. Remember? Yeah, a lot of them. I'm telling you, the restaurant business is a hard oh, business. Yes. That's why we need everybody to listen to this uh, this radio station. Come on, check us out. Mention the, uh, the radio show, and uh, maybe I got something for you. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe or do you clear no, it I, up, Kearney? I, 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 I give you a discount. Okay, I'm coming tonight. I'm gonna mention the show. <laughs> mention there you the go. Show. Can I apply it to my cocktail? <laughs> we put the whole menu. Okay. Yep. Thank you all for being here. I love you both. I love Jaybird's uh, rotisserie and grill. I love you all for listening. And uh, until we meet again, thank you, Detroit. Thank you, William Malcolm. Thank you for all of our supporters. We love you. Have a good day.